So if you're watching People vs. O.J. Simpson, you are seeing Marsha Clark apparently losing control of the case. And there are a bunch of things going on here uh, that I can tell you about as someone who was in the middle of this for many, many months from beginning to end. Um, Marsha wasn't in control because Johnny set the agenda. What happened was Johnny decided early on that he was going to object to absolutely everything the prosecution did. And even if the arguments became absurd, what he ended up doing was controlling the dialogue. So Marsha would end up having to defend what she wanted rather than prosecute what she wanted. And in a way, Marsha became the defense and Johnny became the prosecutor. Johnny was prosecuting the police. Marsha wasn't prosecuting O.J. Simpson. And that is the essence of why she lost the case. This was her defending the LAPD, her answering charges of planting evidence, her talking about the contamination of evidence didn't really have an impact on the fact that O.J. Simpson killed these two people. It was Marsha Clark on the defense almost from the beginning. And it ultimately didn't matter what Johnny said. What mattered was that Johnny was putting her on the defensive and she bit the bait. That said, Chris Darden, who really was uh, the kind of protege of Johnny Cochran, he always looked up to Johnny because they had worked together uh, you know, before this case, uh, that Johnny Cochran got in Chris Darden's head. That you may remember a couple of episodes ago where Johnny actually used the N-word to Chris Darden in open court, talking smack to him. That actually happened. I can tell you it did happen. And Johnny was amazing because there were microphones all over the place. And Johnny knew just where to say it to him. But he said it to him when the camera was on them, but you couldn't hear it. And you could see they would sometimes whisper, Johnny got in Chris Darden's head. And ultimately, you will see that this caused Chris Darden to completely misjudge the glove and ended up doing that. You will see that a little bit later. But this is the key to the case. That And, and, and I got to tell you something. It is true that the LAPD did a lot of stupid things in this case. I mean, the fact that Tom Lang took some of the evidence home with him is just incredible. They made mistakes, but you know what? There is not a completely clean police investigation that you will ever find in a murder case for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, people don't do everything right with every tiny little speck of evidence, every, every hair, every blood sample, every place they walk. I mean, there is always contamination in a crime scene. You can't avoid it entirely. Johnny made nuclear war out of every single misstep, but missteps do happen. What happened was Marsha, rather than putting it in context, would try and defend stuff to the point where enough already, I just don't believe you. And I think ultimately she was dealing with a jury that was very suspicious of the police. Johnny picked that jury. And I will tell you one other thing that I know, that Johnny's team was crazed when they were picking this jury, that they actually wanted to stop at less than what they got in terms of African Americans on the jury, and Johnny kept pushing. And at the end, when Johnny wanted that one more African American woman, his team was saying, no, Johnny, just sit back because we're gonna undo this whole thing if you keep doing this. And Johnny said, no, I'm going for it. Johnny knew the jury he wanted, he got the jury he wanted, and so they were receptive to this kind of argument, and Marsha played into it, and Marsha was on the defense, and OJ was the prosecutor, and that's essentially, even beyond Mark Furman, that is why OJ Simpson walked free.